This video is brought to you with support from my patrons on Patreon. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital, and today we're doing an Arduino-based current sensing grade crossing signal. Welcome back everybody. First of all, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any updates like this video. Special thank you to my patrons who are supporting this video. If you want to hear more about my Patreon page, that'll be later in the video. So today we are doing more current sensing Arduino projects and we are doing a grade crossing signal, so the little flashing signals. We're going to do an automated one of those with an Arduino and a NCE BD20. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's the supplies you'll need for this tutorial. An Arduino, in this case I'll be using an Arduino Uno, an NCE BD20, an alternating flashing board, two LEDs, some wires, and a small flathead screwdriver. Now I have started using these flasher boards because plain and simple they make everything a lot easier to code. A lot of times they even come with the signals when you buy them. All they need is 5 volt power and they will handle the flashing light for you. Then you just hook your signals to them. We start off by connecting our power leads to the flasher board. Then we attach our LEDs. If you were installing this on your layout, this is where you'd hook up your signals. Now we need to hook everything up to the Arduino. We of course hook the ground wire, or the black wire in this case, into one of the three ground ports on the Arduino. We then hook our power lead, or red wire, into digital pin 6. Now for the BD20. The BD20 uses current sensing to detect occupancy, so we need to wrap one of the feeder wires around the detector. In this case, I'm using just a regular wire to represent, and when I actually use it, I will hook up a real feeder wire to the track. We then connect to the 5 volt and ground pins and connect our output wire to the logic pin. Now it's time to connect the BD20 to the Arduino. We take our output pin and we connect it to digital pin 7. This is going to be our signal input. Of course we're going to connect our power pin to the 5 volt pin and our ground pin to one of the three ground slots. And that's it! Now it's time to write some code. Okay everyone, we are in our Arduino IDE and it's time to uh, write this sketch up and I will tell you right now, this is an insanely simple sketch. It's a great starter place if you're using current sensing. Uh, very simple, very easy to understand. We don't even have to declare integers before we start the setup. So let's go ahead and dive straight into the void setup. So we're going to start with void. Set up. And we're gonna do a little brackets right there, and then do our curly bracket. And we're gonna do serial dot begin ninety six hundred, and that starts up our process for uh, 
reading the sensor values. Next we need to do pin mode. And we're gonna do digital pin six, so we're just gonna type a six, and that is an output. And that is what is going to turn our flashboard on and off. And we do pin mode, seven, input. And that is our sensor input. And that is it for the setup. Like I said, this is an insanely simple, simple project. So now we need to do void loop, parentheses, bracket, curly bracket right there. And we need to do int sensor equals digital read, parentheses, seven. And this sets up sensor as our value from the current sensor. Let me just make that a little bit more clear. So that sets up our sensor integer as our value from the current sensor. And then we need to do serial.println sensor. And that will just show us in our serial monitor, which of course is right here when your Arduino is plugged in. And that'll show us what the value is. It's going to be either a one or a zero. And then we're going to put a delay of 200. I like to have a little bit of a break in between uh, various reads. So let me just type up the uh, instructions here. All right, so now we need to do some if-then statements. So first one we're gonna do is if sensor is greater than zero. So when this sensor reads, it is typically a one means that it is not reading anything on the tracks and a zero means that it is reading something on the tracks and rather than putting a sensor equals one or sensor equals zero i found that it is more consistent to put a greater than zero or a less than one and i'm not sure why that makes it more consistent i guess because it gives you more chance for values but for some reason this works better so we'll go ahead and do a curly bracket and we'll do digital right six comma low and this turns off our flashboard when nothing is in the detection zone. Now we need to do if sensor is less than one, again, not doing the equal statements, We'll need to do digital right six comma high. And this turns on flashboard when something is detected. And guess what? That's it. That's the entire sketch. It is really, really not much. Um, because current sensing allows you to pick up anything within the detection zone. You don't need um, from one direction or the other. You just literally can tell if it's occupied. So let's go ahead and verify that. It works, so we can go ahead and upload. Now let's test it out. As you can see, I have the Arduino, the BD20, and here is our detection zone and our flasher board. We start off by moving forwards through the detection zone 
and you can see that the flasher board starts flashing the LEDs. And once it exits, it turns them off. We now back the opposite direction through the detection zone and the flasher board comes back on and turns off when the train exits the zone. We now move the train into the detection zone, stop, and back out the direction that we came. You can see that it still turns on and off accordingly. And it even works if you're partially in and then come back out. This video is brought to you with support from my patrons on Patreon. You can join my Patreon community for exclusive content. You can join for a monthly contribution of $1, $2, and the all-new $5 engineer level, which includes an exclusive digital model of the month that you can download and print yourself. A link to my Patreon page is in the description below. So that is how you do a current sensing grade crossing signal with an Arduino. It is very, very simple. It simplifies the code so, so much. Um, now, some of you might be saying, Jimmy, it works great for the locomotive, but what if you have a bunch of rolling stock and the train exits the detection zone and it stops the signal? Well, there's ways to fix that. So one way is resistor wheel set. So in order to detect a difference in current, you can have little resistors in the wheel sets and manufacturers like Fox Valley Models make those. Now, if you have a large fleet or you don't have a lot of money to do this, those can get a little expensive. So I have decided that in October, I'm gonna take a look at a couple different techniques for making your own resistor wheel sets. So be sure to check that out. Be on the lookout for that in October. And one thing to note about this system is this is how crossings in the real world work. Like they have a little um, section that they detect um, a train coming with through current sensing. Now they pump current through and when the circuit completes, through the metal axle, that is when the crossing arm will be enabled, but it's a very similar system. So this is how real world railroads go. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Special thank you to my patrons. They're listed right here. And um, also on my Etsy store, I am finally, finally putting the InScale Tire Center on sale. You can check it out right here. Price is right here. So that's it guys. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any updates like this video. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe and happy railroading. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital and today we're doing an Arduino-based current system. Ow. 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 There is sharp stuff on the floor.